After what felt like eons of expectations, the Sony WF-1000XM5 is finally here, and they're not holding back. While keeping the reputation of Sony's pristine ANC and intuitive controls intact, it's ranking up to be the best wireless earbuds you can get for an Android phone. However, if you know anything about the iPhone users or if you're one yourself, you know how much it'd take to even make them look at another pair of earbuds other than the precious AirPods, which kinda makes us wonder does Sony have what it takes. In our video today, we'll do a comparison video between the Sony WF-1000XM5 and the AirPods Pro 2 to determine which pair of buds provide the better value for your needs. So without further ado, let's begin. Having trouble creating your online course video? Hmm. At Ten Studio, we specialize in creating video courses for instructors like you. Hmm. With our 7 years of experience and 80 plus completed projects, we're confident that we can make your course engaging and easy to understand. To get more students and increase your earnings through attractive online course videos, contact Ten Studio today. Strictly in terms of appearance, the buds look nothing alike. The WF-1000XM5 keeps things traditional with its signature round shape alongside a comparatively more contoured housing and slim profile with a weight profile of 6 grams per bud. Available in either a black or silver variant with a satisfying matte finish, neither the buds nor the case acts as a fingerprint magnet and does not protrude from your ears like the majority of the buds out there. The buds come with four sets of ear tips that are crafted out of high-tech polyurethane foam material that conforms to your ear canal while adding some extra grip. On the flip side, the AirPods Pro 2 comes with dangling stems and you find a ton of difference in comparison to the predecessor. The buds are compact and lightweight as usual with some noticeable changes in the microphone placement where it's been moved up to the top of the bud, therefore resulting in better exposure towards the outside world resulting in an overall better processing of ambient sounds. Following suit, the AirPods Pro 2 also come with four silicone ear tips. In terms of controls, both Sony and Apple are in tandem with completely different types of control layouts. In order to control the 1000XM5, you'll need to work through a series of taps to either earbuds and in an attempt to upgrade, the XM5 this time around comes with volume controls. Now, controlling the AirPods 2 is a different game altogether where the user is required to squeeze the force sensor in order to control skipping tracks, changing listing modes and more. Swiping up or down changes the volume and it's not uncommon for people to find the AirPods Pro 2 to be more intuitive since it's easier to use. In terms of sound quality, both these earbuds offer a similar level of performance but as expected the AirPods Pro 2 offers a performance that aligns closely with what people prefer from a generic headphone. In layman's terms, the AirPods Pro 2 sound incredible straight out of the box and for the XM5 it might require some form of tuning in order to appeal to people with hypersensitive hearing. The XM5s, as expected, emphasize the bass a bit more in comparison and as a clear advantage comes with Sony's proprietary EQ feature in the form of an app, which allows you to fine-tune the audio profile to each individual's liking. In the case of AirPods Pro 2, you're somewhat limited to what Apple has provided for tuning and adaptive EQ technology which limits your level of customization with the audio and while it's a blessing for people who require a minimal and easy level of customization, the pros would be having a hard time. Both earbuds offer Bluetooth 5.3 in order to work wirelessly which ensures a reliable and efficient pairing process. And as a bonus, both these buds offer LE audio through Bluetooth which reduces the latency from compatible devices and makes sure you enjoy your content without having to deal with annoying audio delays. In terms of streaming, however, the XM5 offers a broader range of codecs to work with that includes SBC, AAC and LDAC. As a step down, the AirPods Pro 2 comes only with SBC and AAC. The WF-1000XM5 in terms of ANC makes full use of two separate processors and six microphones which gives them its signature noise blocking profile. On the other hand, the AirPods Pro 2 also comes with a six microphone array in tandem with their H2 chip which provides a pretty solid level of ANC. However, if you prefer an ANC that focuses more on reducing sub-bass frequency, Sony did an amazing job with the XM5. But then again, if you're more into reducing the frequencies from 150Hz to 1kHz, Apple clearly has an edge. 
while Apple effectively silenced noises from urban environments like buses or trains and are pretty great in general, we have to give the crown to Sony and their memory foam tips, which amp up ANC to a surreal level. The implementation of the mesh covering on each earbud also amplifies the process in windy conditions, which makes the pair a pristine pick for outdoor activities. In terms of battery life, according to Sony, the XM5 can provide 8 total hours of continuous playback, with the listening time being further extended to 24 hours from the case. However, this was the same with the XM4, so no improvements there. In comparison, the AirPods Pro 2 comes with 6 hours of runtime from a single charge and an external 30 hours of runtime when combined with the case. In summary, if you're in the Android department, getting a Sony WF-1000XM5 over the AirPods Pro 2 would be the obvious choice, due to the significant level of improvements and the level of comfort in comparison to their predecessor. Now, this gets more ground as Sony can now stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple in terms of performance. However, if you're knee-deep in the Apple ecosystem, the decision gets a bit more complicated, as the XM5 delivers a comparable ANC and sound quality to the AirPods Pro 2. You can squeeze the best performance out of the XM5's extended feature set if you're in the Android ecosystem, which gives the buds a clear edge strictly in terms of customization and, of course, functionality. You can get your hands on the WF-1000 XM5 for $299, whereas the AirPods Pro 2 will cost you around $249. The price tag, yet again, gives Sony a major boost of preference since there's more value for money. So, that was the two cents on Sony WF-1000 XM5 versus Apple AirPods Pro 2. Which one of these earbuds do you think is right for you? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.